The Trump tapes, the audio of his interviews with Donald Trump is out now. So you've got 20 interviews here, you know, over months and months. And they're fascinating. Why release them now? What motivated you? Well, because I listened to them earlier in the year and discovered that the audio is so powerful and revealing. And the example you cite there, you, he says it's not a threat, but of course it is a threat. And I think one of the things now before Tuesday's upcoming election is that Trump is on the ballot. His name is not there. But when they do the exit polling and the entrance polling on Tuesday, they're going to find out that lots of people were there voting for him or against him. And in fact, according to a new New York Times uh, analysis, there are more than 370 election denying Republicans on the ballot. Those, those are people either following his lead or wanting his embrace yeah. or, you know, thinking yeah. that it's popular. In June of 2020, you asked Trump whether he would accept the outcome of the election. And this was months ahead of January 6th. Let's, let's listen. Well, we're going into the election. Everyone keeps asking, suppose it's a close election and it's contested. What are you going to do? Everyone says Trump is going to stay in the White House if it's contested. Have you? Well, I'm not, I, I don't want to even comment on that. Though. Sure. I don't want okay. to comment on that at this time. Hey, Bob, I got all I these understand. people. I'll talk to you later on tonight because oh. I have to go because of oh. the... <laughs> he wanted to get out of yeah. there. Uh, you know what's so interesting? I should have followed up on that. Uh, I asked him in these interviews 600 questions, and it's the one time he said, I don't want to comment. And uh, obviously there was in his mind and maybe organizationally uh, the intent of not staying or disputing the election as he does until this day. Now, this is timely, with North Korea firing the most missiles in any one day uh, the day before yesterday, and then again last night, several more, including an ICBM that did fail. But in any case, Kim Jong-un unleashed and on the brink, most people expect, of his first nuclear test in five years. You, of course, at the height of the great love fest between Trump and Kim Jong-un, uh, asked him about the letters from Kim Jong-un, which were found at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, let's watch or listen. Nobody else has them, but I want you to treat them with respect. I, haven't I understand. Them I understand. And don't say I gave them to you, okay? Okay. I... But I think it's okay. Normally, I wouldn't have given. I wasn't going to give them to Bob. You know? Would you make a photo stat of them or something? No, I dictated them into a tape recorder. You really? Yeah. <laughs> and my assistant. Uh, but put you them. were surprised by them, right? Yes, because I, just, I never saw these. There were eleven of them. And uh, it shows an evolving relationship of being tough and... He wants to get along. Opening. What did you take from the fact that he, those are among the documents he brought to Mar-a-Lago? Well, he, he, he really nurtured this relationship with Kim Jong-un. And we should remember, not only does he have nuclear weapons, they are concealed, they are hardened, they are dispersed. Uh, the Pentagon and the intelligence community uh, deeply worried, traumatized about Trump's relationship with Kim Jong-un. And I think as I tried to think about these tapes and listen to them, uh, it addresses the question, does he understand the presidency? Does he under... You cover foreign affairs. And the idea that you have this president who has no experience really won't listen to other people. And when I asked, what are you trying to do here, drive Kim to the bargaining table? He said, well, no, uh, it's instinct, instincts. Well, we all have instincts. The dangers uh, that we had at that time, uh, we're going to learn more in history. And now it's visited upon us again. So what would Trump do as president again uh, lingers in a big way in uh, 
I think needs to be the focus of as much reporting as possible. <laughs>